What's up, YouTube? This is Clay with the Clay Way. And have I got a trick for you folks today. Are your eyes blurry? Red shot like you just smoked a big old blunt? I don't smoke, so I don't know. But I know I get mad sometimes. And I'm about to turn that frown upside down and help you get down with getting this nut off this ball joint. I'm going to show you a neat little trick that I just thought of because I couldn't get it off. So... If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and give me that old sweet thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I can't help you with your baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you fix your whip. And if this video is helpful at nighttime while you're sleeping, go ahead and put on one of the sweet old Clayway playlists and just turn that old volume down so you don't have to hear me yammer all the time. Let's get going. Can't believe I almost forgot. If anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. So one of the first tricks I'm going to show you before we take off this ball joint nut and I show you this super trick, I show you another little trick about getting this off without damaging your tie rod. Because maybe only your ball joints are bad. I don't really know. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zip this nut off of here. Now maybe you've re removed the cotter key. Maybe you haven't. If you haven't removed the cotter key, I highly suggest you give it a good old try. I have a nice little trick on other videos about doing that, but that's not going to be as difficult as it is to get this out of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to zip that thing off and we zip that nut off. Now we're going to grab a manly hammer. That's not a manly hammer. That thing looks kind of small. Boy. Well, I guess this hammer looks a little bit manly. So what we want to do is we want to hit it on the knuckle. We don't want to hit it on the threads because we're trying to save that. We want to hit it here on the knuckle. Now what's going to happen is when you hit that with the hammer, it's going to heat that up and send energy through this knuckle right here. And because this is a pipe thread, it inherently wants to push out. A pipe thread is something that's smaller at the tip and larger at the bottom. Don't we all wish? Now we're going to take it and we're going to go back It's gonna pop out white, just that simple. So what I have here is I have an air hammer and it has a pick bit on the end of it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that pick bit right on the outside lip up here. We're not gonna dig straight in. We're gonna dig it on the outside of the lip so if it does anything, it glances off of that nut. The reason we're doing that is because this is super rusty. Now, obviously, not everyone at home is going to have heat. That's your best thing to do. Putting a little bit of penetrant on it, most people have that, so we can definitely do that at home as well. But if we stick that pick bit right on the end of here, we're going to be able to get this to move. Now, now as you're using that, you want to make sure that you're pushing this way. Don't push into the center of the nut push out so it glances off and spins that nut just in case you weren't able to get that rusty old cotter pin out i actually took a drill and drilled the cotter pin a little bit i didn't drill all the way through the bolt but i moved it enough so hopefully it was off the threads now we're going to give this an old try and see how she works now notice that i'm right on the edge of that nut Definitely going to ruin the nut. <laughs> Work like a champ. Gosh, sometimes I'm pretty smart. Wow, I can't freaking believe that. That's the first time I ever did it. <laughs> Well, hopefully you folks dug that. Just remember, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, and I'm sure of it, you can do anything if you want to. Check out the Clayway Sweet Tips and Tricks playlist to see other things like that. Hopefully you got your nut off of there and you're a little bit more informed, helping you work a little bit easier. Don't be the next of them. Be the first of you. God bless and have the best of days.